this week is South African in honour of our South African wine promotion which is running for the duration of the World Cup and during that time all South African wines that we sell will be at 15% off so you should get online and order them or come into the shop immediately. Um, we're going to start with a South African Zone Blanc which is um, from a region called Elgin that until very recently was mainly a place where they grew apples and oranges, but not really grapes at all. Some very clever person though finally made the link between the fact that Elgin is actually at quite high altitude and therefore very slightly cooler than a lot of um, South, Africa's, South Africa's wine regions. And um, the fact that with some grape varieties, you really do need a climate that is as cool as possible. Serving your Blanc being one of them and for reds, Pinot Noir being another. Um, what's happened in South Africa in the last 15 years is that there's been a lot of, of discovering of new, new regions and rediscovering of some very old regions that no one really took very seriously. You know, for a long time everyone just thought that really the best regions were Stellenbosch and Karl. But now, a lot of people think that actually in probably 20, 30 years, the thinking will be that those, those, those are very good for some things, but outside of that, there are much better regions for other grape varieties. And Sauvignon is one that definitely, because of its need for a cooler climate, is starting to perform much better in places like um, Cape Point or Darling or Elgin than it is in much more traditional regions like Parle or Stellenbosch. So what we have here is a Sauvignon Blanc that is um, grown completely organically, which is still quite unusual in South Africa. There's not, sadly, very, very many organic growers in South Africa. Um, on a relatively small property owned by an English person, um, who apparently has lots of lovely, happy ducks in his vineyard, although I don't think there's a connection between the ducks and being English. This is very typical for me of what the best of South African Sauvignon is about. They never get quite as tropical and fruity as New Zealand Sauvignon. New Zealand Sauvignon, of course, is, is such a kind of iconic wine now and it's such a, an instantly re recognisable style and a very, very um, popular and uh, successful style, so I'm, I'm not knocking it. But we're starting to find that some people are are starting to look for something that maybe has a bit more restraint and a bit more of a smoky, herbaceous character. And for me, South Africa provides that. In fact, I think the best South African Sauvignons are kind of halfway in between New Zealand. There is a hint of fruit still. And at the other extreme, something like Sancerre and Polyfume, which is obviously a lot leaner and more minerally. This is not Sancerre, it's not trying to be, and it, it, it clearly isn't. It's bigger and fatter in the mouth than Sancerre would ever be. So, on the nose, it's very fresh and kind of grapefruity, and, and I think that a smoky, minerally character comes through quite strongly. It's very crisp, but so many is crisp. But balancing that is good weight and texture, and that's something that's that's definitely new world. That that particular character means that this just couldn't be French. There's a kind of fatness to it, but it's not really a fruit fatness. It's more just a touch of honey. Um, got really, really nice length. The flavour goes all the way back and, and hangs around for a long term with a really lovely fresh kind of grapefruit sorbet finish to it. I think very easy to drink by itself. Or the kind of wine, because that hint of smokiness, it would probably go really nicely in the summer with fish or prawns or something on a barbecue. Or even a kind of chicken salad. So if you're planning to watch a lot of the World Cup, or even if you're not, um, if you're planning to avoid it at all costs. This is a lovely wine to drink this summer and completely organic, so not full of lots of nasty residues.